Today on our 2016 Kia Sorento, we're test fitting the Swagman XC2. This is a platform style two bike rack. It's been designed for use with inch and a quarter or with two inch hitches. Part number on it is S64650. Now the XC2 is gonna use two wheel hoops and a frame hook to hold our bike into position. It's a really nice steady bike rack. You'll look online and see a lot of great reviews about it on our website there. The hook that makes connection with the frame. It's got a soft feel to it. It's not so soft that we have to worry about bouncing or jostling, but it's not so hard that it's going to cause any damage to our frame. I like that about it for sure. That's really the only point of contact that we have with the frame while transport. Now to get our bike off there, we just want to move our frame hooks up. We're not going to have to deal with straps or anything other than just the hook holding the bike in place, which I really like. Go ahead and ease it out of there. That'll give you a pretty good look at the wheel hoops themselves. As you can see, fully adjustable in and out of the hoop arm and plenty wide. So we get a wide variety of wheel bases and also wheel sizes that we can get taken care of. Move those hooks down. Let's get a few clearance measurements here. Looks like at the very back of our rack, we're gonna have about 17 and a half inches worth of ground clearance. Looks like overall, it's going to add about 17 inches to the back of our Kia. Looks like the closest point where the rack might make contact with the vehicle would be on our hook arm coming in this area. But really, with the way it's set up, the hitch would make contact here. We wouldn't have to worry about any contact with the vehicle, which is pretty nice. Now, just by pulling the pin that's located here in the middle of the rack, we can slide that center mass down, reinsert the pin to secure it. But that's going to give us great access into that cargo area. That way we can get that stuff in or out that we might need. <laughs> Got to pull the right pin for it to work. Now the cool thing about the Swagman is that these are ball detent pins. They're not the type of pin to where you'll have to rotate it around. Hopefully you find the key slot and it comes out. So it makes it pretty nice. Now for additional storage options, we can actually move our wheel hoop, ar hoop arms right up against that center mast. Do that in both directions here. Sometimes the hooks will interfere with the knobs. So you kind of make small adjustments there to get everything to fit together nicely. You can see it's in a more stored, much more convenient package there. Not going to take up much room in the garage, so it gives us some nice storage options. Looks like now we're going to have about 14 and a half inches worth of ground clearance. The overall length is still going to be here, still going to be about the same. And then our closest point, again, that's going to remain the same. Now that we've had a good look at our Swagman XC2, We've seen how it's going to look and fit on our 2016 Kia Sorento.